what's going on everybody it's your boy neko darius and we have been running through the nascar thunder 04 season we're heading into race number seven if you missed last race go back and watch it we actually wound up getting the uh what is it the silver horseshoe i think i'll call it this time we didn't get a golden one we didn't get a win but we did get a top five so go back and watch that one if you didn't watch um, before you watch this one, if you haven't already. If you're new here, make sure that like and subscribe button helps me out a ton. And if you guys haven't noticed, we have been growing at a really amazing rate ever since I started doing YouTube full time back in July of this year. So you guys have been helping me keep things going and it's been great to work with you guys and see you guys uh, enjoy the content. We got Texas up next. We only got one car. I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the chase. We've already done everything that we needed to last week, which was absolutely nothing because we have nothing we can do. Let's go ahead and head right on to Texas. Car feels way better than it did at Atlanta. I can't believe they destroyed Texas Motor Speedway to make whatever it is now. I haven't played any modern NASCAR games, honestly, since NASCAR Thunder 04. Maybe I'll play a few. Well, I haven't played any in a while, anyway. 26th, not bad, but less than what we had at Atlanta, so... Uh, just a little off. Maybe I didn't enter one of those corners well, and that's fine. We've got some work to do. Let's get ready to go in for the race. I can't wait. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas, and today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. What's in store for these drivers today? Texas is a tough track for these drivers to get a hang of. It's very fast, but has a very tight groove. Some of these cars may add some paint to the walls here before the race is over. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Bobby Labonte. I spoke to the crew chief this morning and he told me they just missed the setup in qualifying. But he expects his driver to make his way up through the field and get a good finish without much problem. The 53 car has started something recently with Steve Park. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Jeff Green really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And how frustrating must that be? You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days and gain the valuable points you need. Those guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. See the 42, the 16, the 0, the 41. All my nearest rookie rivals are all ahead of me. That is insane. I qualified horribly. All clear, buddy. Contact with the 17. All right, Kenseth. Our guy tight. Still there. We're getting past like we're standing still legitimately right now. Okay, we're going to loosen the car on this first pit stop. It's doing what it did at Atlanta. It's, it's gotten tight. The one car is gaining on you. Take care of that car. And then I got enemy or enemies. I got people literally parking themselves in the middle of the racing line. Come on, Brett. You know better. making passes
We've made one good pass so far. Just pass on the outside. Okay. Take care of those good year eagles. The sixteen car is still there. Careful. Thanks, Brett. You made my life that much easier. As a privateer owner like myself, just like you, I was hoping you were gonna cut me some more slack. I'll remember that number eleven. I'm just trying to get out of these races week in and week out. My car is better on the high side than it is on the white line. Thanks, Greg. You're fine. I came down on Greg Biffle that time. That's fine. He got me a little loose. Not nothing crazy. There we go. We got another pass on another rookie. We're like magically good at the mile and a half tracks. Atlanta was pretty good if I would have just kept the car a little bit cleaner and not been held up coming off a of pit road by Ward Burden. Curse you, Ward. But I'm doing pretty solid right now, chasing after other people. I think maybe I should still loosen the car up a little bit. We did qualify, what, 26th? We're now 25th, so... And we're pulling away from them, too. We're actually gaining on Elliot Sadler through the corner, guys. This might be the best car we've had. Which means I definitely could have done better in qualifying. So I'm I'm the reason why we're this low. I can see Jamie McMurray ever so slightly ahead of me. He is two cars in front. So that's Ricky Craven and maybe Jeremy Mayfield, Elliot Sadler, or um <laughs> Bill Elliott in front of me. Sorry, Bill. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. My apologies. But it could be Jeremy Mayfield or Bill Elliott. It looks like I'm seeing a little green highlight on the on the roof. So that's got to be Jeremy Mayfield and Ricky Craven ahead. So let's go ahead and see if we can track them down. And the 42 car is just in front of them. And the car is hooked up as the, ra the run goes on. Come on. Dale Jinger's out, guys. Dale Jinger blew a motor. According to timing and scoring, it said eight was out. What about bad luck for Dale? 20 now, 20 laps to go. Our car is hooked up. We literally just pulled up on Ricky Craven through the corner. Look at that. I didn't know he was pitting. I didn't know he was pitting. I didn't know he was pitting. I didn't know green flags were starting. My crew chief didn't tell me. <sighs> Did I really just manipulate the race again? Right at the time that people were coming down pit road? I know we have damage. I know the damage is pretty, it's pretty tight. I don't want to repair the damage. We can't afford those extra what six tenths of a second. 
let's see what we can do with a 17.4 i'm pretty sure the car is okay all things considered we just got to be aware of the front nose so we're gonna get four tires fuel i made no changes to the car the car actually was pretty good on the high side so all i gotta do is just kind of run it high and we just got to get off pit road now without losing any positions there's jamie mcmurray uh there was bill elliott We just got to get the car wound up here. If I get back to Terry Labonte, I'm sending him. Because he, he almost ruined my entire race. I'm racing Matt Kenza, of all people, back here in the 30s. All right, the good news is that Jamie McMurray is getting past. The bad news is, is that we're still nowhere near where this car is actually capable of running. Passing by the O2. There's the 42 right in front of me. We got to catch him and I need to catch the five. He literally rooted me out of the way and then still hasn't even gone any further than where he is right now. So it's almost like, okay, cool. You wanted to punt the rookie out the way. That's cool, man. Come on, car. That's what we need to pass. We need to pass him. Come on. A little touch, no love lost from the rookies. You put behind. Number 42 is going high. But we got it done, boys. We passed Jamie McMurray. Let's make up more spots, though. Got some cars heading down pit road. A large part of me wants to get to Terry Labonte's bumper and just send him up the track. But I know for a fact if I do that, I could probably ruin my race. And so far, we've got a really amazing race car. Team really built a good car. Like these have been the most enjoyable 33 lap, 33 laps of racing I think I've done so far outside of the Daytona 500. I mean, look at how easy I made that pass. I say, then I send it into the wall. And then the five car blows up. <laughs> oh man, my, my luck is horrible. 
let's get this car around let's get it packed up and then let's study it for future science I can literally I can legitimately get 19th here uh, I don't think we're gonna have enough I don't know if we're gonna have enough we didn't have enough damage in the rear I think definitely messed it up I'll take it p20 could have been worse way worse not very many caution laps in this one yeah you're right but that just makes for a better race in my opinion it really makes the better drivers stand out that much more the Nikon car got into some trouble and did some damage to his car yeah you can't expect a good finish when you don't take care of your car but sometimes that's easier said than done in this series there are certain times when you just have no place to go. The 53 car didn't do anything to improve his standing with the other drivers out there. Well, when you're out there beating and banging on guys, some feathers are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing on EA Sports. We'll see you next week at Talladega. All right, so we finished the race, earned uh, $753,000. In terms of race stats, Kevin Harvick wins, Ryan Newman finished second, Jeff Gordon third, Dale Jarrett fourth, Tony Stewart fifth, Bobby Labonte sixth, Rocky, Ricky, uh, Rocky, Ricky Rudd in seventh, Sterling Marlin in eighth, Jeff Burton in ninth, and Kurt Busch rounds out your top ten. You guys know where I finished? I finished in 20th. It doesn't look like there were any rookies that finished ahead of me, so it looks like I was the highest finishing rookie, beating out Jamie McMurray, which is why we earned that extra $2,000. That's an extra three points in the bank over Jamie Mack. And I think that kind of solidifies us right around the 20th and 17th, you know, region in the point standings for right now. So all we got to do is just keep building towards tomorrow. You know, um, let's go ahead and head back to the shop. <sighs> it ain't nothing like getting home after a beautiful race in Texas. Really feel like we could have actually had the race a little bit better off had I not caused that caution with Ricky Ro or Ricky Craven. It's fine. Something that we just got to keep an eye on. I won't hear from the crew, like crew or the spotter saying there's, you know, leaders are coming in. I should have seen it coming. I probably lost track. Well, I actually did. I lost track of the, you know, of, of the laps. So that's on me. Affected that race. Could have definitely had a lot better off or a lot better finish. But Talladega is next. We've got a restricted plate win. And that would be race number eight of the 36. So I think that's what a couple of fourths or an eighth or whatever. I don't know, mathematicians. You guys tell me what that means. Anyways, looking at the point standings, it looks like it's gotten a lot tighter at the top, real quick. Mark Martin is only ahead of Tony Stewart by five. Jeff Gordon, seven, 11, 25, 37, 48, 72, 75, 80, 82. And then is Dale Earnhardt Jr. with 141 points back in 12. The top 11 are literally just within reach of each other. That is insane. Anyways, further down, I am in 18th place in the standings. It looks like Jamie Mack has solidified himself in, you know, 22nd, uh, 709 points. Again, I'm just a little bit ahead of him um, by 31 points. So that's not a lot. We can't lose any ground to Jamie Mack on the track, which means we can't avoid or forward any low place finishes. By the time we come back next time, I will go through everything else that we need to work on. We got our shop edition is in. We've got the garage that we got to look at. We've got some engines that are, have been repaired and we've got the new bodywork stuff that we're going to do. We're going to go into that in the next episode because I don't want to continue on with this one. It's kind of past my little time of recording. So we'll start off the next episode by doing some shop management stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure that like and subscribe button we will be out there on the track. Talladega's next in Alabama. Let's see if we can get ourselves our second win of our career. I wish you guys good luck. Be easy, everybody.